that's one delicious meal that is so quick and so satisfying, y'all. Woo! It's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. And tonight, me and Chris had a great idea of a quick supper, but boy, is it delicious. Loaded potato soup. These teenagers here from college are gonna be on cloud nine when they eat my potato soup. We're gonna start with some bacon. I bought bacon in pieces, and we are going to slice it up and get it in a skillet and let it start making some bits for our potato soup. We got a lot here. I'm going to go ahead and fry it up because it needs to be fried up and we could use it in something over the weekend. It'd be good in some cornbread, wouldn't it? All right, we got this chopped up, so we're going to get it in a hot skillet. Start frying it up while we're peeling our potatoes. Got a lot of teenagers here tonight. It's the night before Thanksgiving. So we're going to have something really good for them to eat. Something they like. Everybody loves potato soup. I am wearing Chris's GoPro. We'll see if y'all like it. The views from it. So we're gonna hop over here. We're gonna leave that on a medium high. We're gonna hop over here and start just peeling some potatoes. I'm gonna show you about how I like to peel them. When I'm doing potato soup. I'm going to show you about how big to cut them. And it don't take a long time to make potato soup. It's easy, fast, and delicious. So we're going to rinse the potato. Cut it in some cubes, about that big. Around three quarters of an inch to an inch big. We're only gonna boil these once they start boiling. We'll boil them about 12 minutes. Kinda like what you do for potato salad. Then we'll start adding the cream. We're getting there. Takes a few minutes to peel enough potatoes for everybody. We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six adults here tonight for supper. We're gonna put in some chicken bouillon. I've got the granules. Um, so I am just going to get out a couple of tablespoons because I'm pretty much doing a double recipe since there's quite a few of us here tonight. Pretty much all of it. I need to refill it. I buy a big thing and refill that small one and keep it in the pantry. We're gonna put some water in these now. I'm gonna go exactly by the recipe because it does such a good job and it tastes so good. So I'm gonna put these on the stove, turn them on, and we're gonna cook these in that broth before we add the cream, of course. I'm gonna put a lid on them so that they start boiling quicker. We're gonna stir up our bacon. It's doing really good. You're gonna want it to sit in that, see how it, it's getting really, you're gonna, Turn it down to a, a low temperature towards the end so that it doesn't get too brown and it stays real golden. 
and just delicious. So you can turn it up at first, but after this, all this grease starts getting in the pan, make sure you turn down that temperature. And okay, while your milk is still cold, put it in something large enough that you can whisk in your cornstarch. If you got a four cup measuring cup, it work great. So I'm gonna put in four tablespoons of cornstarch into this cold milk. It's half cream, half milk. And we're just gonna whisk it. And of course, you're gonna whisk it again before you add it to your soup. So go ahead, while it's real good and cold, and give it a really good whisk. We're going to get this bacon out right quick. It's ready. So we're going to reach in here and get this bacon. I'm going to touch the bacon and the dog bar. I want a piece. So if you go to Walmart or somewhere like that, you can get these really big containers of this granule chicken. I love Nor. I used to use the tablets all the time. Most of my recipes call for those, but keep in mind that, you know, I've grown a little since I made the cookbook, the first one. And so they've started making this. I just love it. It's so much more convenient and it's the same brand. So I just buy it in bulk and Fill the small one up to keep it in the cabinet. I'll be using that one on Thanksgiving Day. You want maybe some blend or cheddar? You think? I would say cheddar. Cheddar. All right, I do buy my cheese already shredded because I'm lazy. And we got some sour cream for our uh, soup as well. Every once in a while, whisk up your milk and starch. And go ahead while your potatoes are cooking. That's the great thing about this recipe is you can do things while you're waiting on the potatoes to boil. As soon as they start boiling, we're gonna time them 12 minutes. They're about to start boiling. You put a lid on it and they come to a boil quicker. And so you got time to get out your cheese, your sour cream, mix up your milk and starch, make your bacon. We're gonna get out cheddar cheese for this. It's gonna be really good. You know this nice Christmas bowl we use tonight. And I'm gonna put all this stuff out and let them put it in their own soup bowl. So my potato soup in the pot is going to be plain old potato soup, and then it'll be deluxe when they make it for themselves. Yeah. All right, we're going to get these in our little oven, and you just put it on the toast setting, and it starts it for right at seven minutes. I'm going to take this out, and you don't have to preheat it or nothing for this. That starch wants to settle, so you really got to make sure and get it up off the bottom before you add it to your soup. All right, we're going to chop up some chives right quick. All right, we got some chives, and I'm just going to snip them with scissors. Easy enough, ain't it? If the herbs don't look fresh in the grocery store, reach back in the back, and lots of times they'll have really fresh ones back behind the ones that look bad. 
If you just put just enough water in it to cover the potatoes after they boil 12 minutes, don't drain it. Leave that in there because that's part of your soup. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. And remember, this is a double recipe. A half teaspoon of pepper, actually. All right, we're going to turn this back on because we want it to thicken when we add our cream in. And you're also going to put in butter. We're going to use about eight tablespoons of butter, which is the whole stick. Yummy yum, right? Stick of butter. We'll let that melt in there and then we're going to add our cream. Because once it starts to thicken, you know, we want to make sure that butter gets in there good and gets melted. And it's melting pretty quick. And that delicious soup. All right, let's go ahead. Before you add your cream, make sure you whisk it good. Because I can guarantee you that starch will be on the bottom. And it ought not be lumpy at all because we've done a really good job mixing it periodically. And now we're going to pour in our cream. And it will start to thicken pretty quick. So you want to have the temperature up when you add your cream so that it just starts thickening really quick. We're about to have potato soup. It's that simple. You can have potato soup done. I mean... Pretty doggone quick. It's only 12 minutes once it starts to boil. And once you add your cream, it gets thick really quick. Let's go ahead and add some of the chives to it. I think we'll add them and just have just a few for the top of our bowls. Right, it's ready to serve. We're gonna get us out of scooper duper. Serve it up. <clears throat> this is a good recipe. Perfect every time. cheese in it. A little sour cream. Our bread didn't start. And bacon. We'll get our crusty bread and have us a good bowl of soup. Time to dig in. We've got our delicious crusty bread. I love my little oven. It makes it perfect every time. This gorgeous soup. I'm going to take a bite. Mm-mm-mm. That's one delicious meal that is so quick and so satisfying, y'all. Woo! Make this for your friends and family when you're tired because it only takes about 25 minutes. Y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook loaded potato soup like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.